A reasonable question is why does this missile have missiles strapped to the outside of it? And this missile is an anti-air missile called the Bloodhound. Um, I think it was 50 something. When was this thing built? 1958. So this missile came about in 1958. And the reason this missile has missiles on the outside of it is they're not actually missiles. These are auxiliary engines. So these are rocket engines that get it going because these two big engines underneath, the ones that have the little brown nose cones, or shock cones I should call them, they're not actually rocket engines, they're jet engines called ramjets. And the reason that it has the rockets is because ramjets don't work like conventional engines. I'll show you. Unfortunately, the building with the ramjet is being renovated, so I can't get to that. So here's a regular turbine engine. This is off one of the first jet engines off the ME262, and it, but it gives, lets you see kind of the difference. And the difference is this. On a regular turbine, you have turbine blades. Um, they're used to pull air into the engine, which is then combusted and blasted out the back, and it pushes that turbine blade at the back, which then drives the compressor blades at the front. And so you can start these up with an electric motor. So you could spin up that motor on the ground, start air going through it, and then you could start the combustion cycle of the engine. Ramjets don't have any blades. Because they travel at supersonic speed, the supersonic pressure is kind of fed into the engine differently so that it doesn't overwhelm the engine, which means it doesn't use turbine blades. It just has a straight through airflow. But that means you can't actually start it up on the ground stationary because you need airflow going through it to start the combustion cycle and realistically it needs to be supersonic airflow that's going through it so in the end that's why that missile has rockets on the outside and missiles on the missile it's because those rocket engines get it up to speed and then the ramjet can take over and the ramjet's more fuel efficient than the rockets are so it gives it a better range and it can send it to mark three and keep it there until it gets to its target ideally i guess so uh, yeah, ramjets, no turbine blades inside them, they're just a straight through engine flow. So a bit like the V1 bomb, you have to get it going before you can actually get the engine to start running.